Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots and it's been a quite a long time since we have created any videos. So here we are with a very advanced chatbot industry ready created using Microsoft Bot Framework version 4.NET C Sharp. This bot will have all the functionality that Microsoft Bot Framework offers starting from adaptive dialogues, adaptive cards, skills functionality, handoff functionalities, and many others. This bot will be creating it only for Microsoft Teams channel since most of the organization rely on Microsoft Teams for their day-to-day -day work. Therefore, we'll be just building it for the Microsoft Teams channel. Right? So, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to go to our repository and download the template that we'll be using and just modifying that template based on our requirements, right? So let me quickly go to our GitHub repository. Uh, let me go to my user. Okay. Yeah, I don't get much followers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So let me just um, go down and get the template that I have to use. Yeah, it was available long back in bot builder repository. This one I have forked it because there are a lot of changes in repository in this repository and I don't want to lose the old changes that is really really helpful. Okay, I go to this C sharp dot net core and here is the big boss, the adaptive dialog. In latest repository, Microsoft has removed this particular folder and all of his projects because they want us to use the bot framework composer and that is built on top of this adaptive dialog functionality. Alright, so it contains a lot of samples and we'll be using the most advanced one and that will be the to-do bot Lewis Q&A maker. Okay, so we'll be using this particular sample. In order to do that, I have to download the complete code and then open that solution from there. So let me just download this completely. So I'll be going very basic step by step without skipping anything. So just stay tuned if you want to just uh, fast forward this particular steps you can do so because these are just uh, downloading the code and setting it up yeah so based on your internet speed it gets downloaded and based on your system configuration you can extract this particular zip folder okay here we are let me open that downloads folder and let me just rename because in windows we have this issue called known as uh, the path the long path error something like that so when you extract and some of the paths are really long so the windows does not extract those files so let me keep it as bot and control x and let me paste it in a folder where my path will be very less and it will be under C okay and let me extract this uh, just make sure how you extract it you should not extract it inside the bot folder I have to extract it inside the C folder directly because I can skip uh, one folder less okay so you just have to keep it C and extract. 
in this case you won't be getting that um, path long error so let us see I really like uh, seeing this particular graph and it's amazing it will take um, about a minute or so to extract all the files to your new folder the best way to learn what we are doing is to do it side by side because we are going very slowly we are not skipping anything so whatever speed i am going in that you should also try it side by side so that you don't miss anything yeah of course this uh, link i'll be sharing in the description okay in the meantime let me show you the actual repository that is the latest and updated one so this is the actual microsoft bot builder samples repository and here you will get a lot of things a lot of lot of samples that you can start learning okay so based on your programming language we are only concerned about dotnet core and we'll be building our chatbots in c sharp all right and here if you see those folders are removed it is not present as of now in the latest version okay so let us see if we have extracted okay it said is 76 percent okay we are here uh, either you can just uh, delete this uh, zip file so i'll just delete it to make space on my system you can just right click and delete okay and here is the extracted folder that is generated and i'll go to the samples dot net core and let me scroll down to the bottom and here is the adaptive dialog and it's again a separate solution what i'll do i'll open this one let me do one thing let me copy this project Control c and let me go to the documents folder and paste it here okay and i'll rename this uh, let me not rename right here let me open and then rename it so i'll launch it with the visual studio 2022 that's a version that i'll be using i'm using the preview version because uh, i love uh, seeing new features and getting started with those new features okay all right so what i'll do i will first rename the solution and then i'll rename the project just right click click on rename and the name i'll give is jd bots enterprise chatbot and click enter the same name i'll be giving in the solution as well right click on the solution and rename it jd bots enterprise solution so let me give it as uh, jd bots uh, enterprise solution all right okay let me not uh, complicate things uh, because in naming uh, 
namespace uh, this will create a problem so i'll just use the chatbot itself let's not complicate things okay now the main important part since you have changed the project name your namespace will still be pointing to the old project just open any file let's suppose i'm opening this adapter with the error handler and this is the namespace that it is still referring to just copy this namespace just select this namespace and click on control f and here just click on this particular drop down and under replace enter your namespace that is jd bots enterprise chatbot okay and you need to make sure to check these two particular options make sure it is selected and the drop down that you have to use is entire solution don't like not only current project you have to do it on the entire solution okay and go ahead and start replacing it so i'll do it replace all okay 10 occurrences replaced okay yeah this is a new feature that is released multi-level uh, tabs this is amazing okay so now when i save it what will happen it is just showing me to save the solution file because this i have not saved it yet so i'll save it inside the folder name to do bot lewis q a maker okay i'll just click on save okay so since our solution is saved okay sometimes what happens when you change the name of your project as well as solution and after changing the namespaces as well the dependencies error will not go away in my case it is not showing up but in your case you'll see a warning icon that is yellow color icon that will be uh, placed on top of this dependencies right so for such cases what you have to do click on just close the visual studio open your project folder before opening let me just rename it so that uh, it is better for me to make sense of the work that i'm use creating jd bots chatbot okay this is my project this is my folder name and this is uh, everything inside this project and just click on the solution all right so yeah so all the dependencies are resolved just to make sure if it is running fine just run your project click on this run button that is start without debugging in visual studio 2019 it is start without debugging in 2022 they have uh, added this new icon and it is really good instead of clicking twice clicking on debug and start without debugging we can just click this particular button yeah and since our build is succeeded we are good to go for our implementation okay so here it is showing me multi-turn prompt sample okay i get it the reason is we have not updated the index.html file that is the default file you can just go to ww root and default.html and just update this particular message the message should be coming as to do bot with Louis and here we are getting multi-turn prompt that, that is a caching issue because I run a lot of samples and uh, because of caching 
this name is being popped up but yeah the name should be popping up is this one that is to do bot this particular name so what i'll do i'll just uh, replace this name with a new one uh oh i just deleted some extra characters okay jd bots enterprise chatbot all right this looks fine just save it and rerun the project okay why it's not running let me just do it again okay it's already running web server is listening on port 3978 okay okay let let me just uh, fix that caching issue right away go to settings since i'm using the microsoft edge i can just go to cache and choose what to clear i can just unselect these three options and use uh, only cached images and files and i'll do it for all the time like all time okay let me clear it right away oh it was pretty fast all right let me reload this oops uh yeah this got changed i think we only changed the title we did not change the heading of our web page let me go back and do it right away okay so where are we let me just scroll down this is just the styling that that we can do okay so let me see from where our heading is taken from you can test your bot your bot is ready okay so from where it is taken from okay here it is i got it let me remove this and let me add it our way jd bots enterprise chatbot okay now this will be fine let me rerun okay it is already ready let's see okay perfect we got our first chatbot running let's copy this open the emulator we are just making sure whether it is running on emulator or not but we are building this chatbot for microsoft teams only right we have to make a lot of change okay all right let's try to connect oops we got an error post 500 this error is mainly for the server related issues when your bot is not able to be communicated with i get it what's error because uh, this particular sample uses qna maker and lewis services so we are getting this particular error before setting up before running this particular sample we have to configure lewis as well as qnmaker services what we'll do in the next session we'll try to just uh, configure it okay and then we'll see whether it is working or not all right see you in the next session